Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you a couple of new features for interactive demolition such as uh, time delay and probability. First one is time delay and it's some kind of save frames for second and other death levels. So uh, zero means that um, all fragments, all newly created fragments will be, can be demolished uh, further instantly and if, uh, if for instance I will say time delay to five it will mean that uh, each next frag fragment uh, will have uh, five safe frames, which means it will not be possible to demolish this fragment during this five frames after first demolition. Uh, to better understand it, I will show you. So I have these two objects here, and uh, I will start the simulation with zero time delay. As you can see, object start demolish, and uh, oh, sorry, I need to set death level two. So uh, all new fragments, as you see, demolish instantly. So uh, at the end, it looks like a mess. All fragments demolished since my material solidity is the lowest value possible. So I will stop simulation. Set time delay, let's say five, and even more. Start simulation. And as you can see, all new fragments doesn't. Uh, demolished instantly. It falls and only uh, it's they have the seven save frames. Let me include it. So you see, they demolished only after this. 50 frames after first demolition. As you can see, uh, again it looks like a mess at the end, and to fix this, you can use this next uh, probability property. It, uh, this property works in percent, and 100% means that all 100% uh, of simulated objects and fragments can be demolished. Uh, if I will set it to, let's say, 50 or maybe, let's say, 70. Even with the lowest material solidity property and the time delay to zero, as you can see, not all fragments demolished now. Some of them still stays uh, intact. Okay, I will. Lower. And now you can see that even this first uh, original object wasn't demolished. Using this feature, you can add more realism in your interactive demolition.